My name is Jamie Grattan. I work for an organisation called Aquarius and I'm a recovery network coordinator. Um, Aquarius works with families and individuals affected by drug and alcohol. For me, social justice is a fight against equality which is found within groups of people and how they access all aspects of society and the limitations put on them so they can't reach their full potential. Queries started in 1977 and they were set up to find different ways of working in Birmingham actually um, with people with alcohol addiction. Um, since then they've grown to work throughout a number of areas within the country. In Derby itself we work in different, three, four different areas. First of all we work in family services, so we have a safeguarding team, so people who are going through addiction who have children and may have social services involved. We work with them families to try and get them into a better place for them and their children. We also run the alcohol team. So we work with people with dependent drinking issues or problem drinking issues to help them safely become clean and sober. Um, we have the supporting family side, which is working with individuals who have family members who are suffering from addiction. So parents, grandparents, children, anybody who's supporting somebody who's going through addiction, we do that. And the team I work for is recovery. So we work on a recovery model where we are trying to help people who've become clean and sober, I, or people who've gone through addiction to become clean and sober or stay clean and sober on a sustainable recovery. Also how services um, react to somebody with addiction. The same again, you go for medical help, it always comes back to is it the alcohol which is causing the problem, is it the drugs? They don't look at past that, it's always the first port of call. It's also helping them achieve a new life. Recovery is about creating a new life, it's about building on what's strong already in life but creating something better. Um, and while we still have this stigma around, it's still very hard to do that. Nobody wakes up to, and says, I want to be a drug addict. Nobody wakes up and says, I want to be an alcoholic. Yeah, they've, they've, used them to, they've used them substances for a coping mechanism about what's going on. And it's a whole chicken and the egg. You see a lot of people on the streets who've got drug and alcohol problems, but people assume that it's the drug and alcohol problems that put them on the streets, but not necessarily that's not the case. Other issues in their life has caused them and then they're using the only coping mechanisms they can. A lot of what we do, and recovery is a movement across the country, is people who've been there helping people who are there. So when somebody sits down and says, oh, what do you know about, about it? And the person opposite them saying, well, I'm in recovery, I've been in recovery five years, 10 years. You can actually see that physical change in somebody because they're, they're then saying that these people may not know what they've gone through but understand a bit more. And But also, it's also giving that person who's in recovery a chance to redefine who they are by helping each other and helping build that community where everybody supports each other.